Hello everyone. I wanted to send you out a quick video um, just reviewing how to get into Tinkercad and um, to do some basic things. I know there's a ton of clicking. Um, so here's just a quick little reminder video in case you need it and also in case you are not in class. So for our purposes right now, I'm just using the second grade link, but I will have all of the links um, in the description here in case you need them. So when you go to log in, you are going to choose to join with a nickname. Um, that is what everyone will be using, no other sign-in options. And then your nickname is going to just be your first name and then your last initial, not your full last name, just the first letter and uh, no spaces, no capitals. So my practice account here is Mrs. K. And you'll see that when I sign in, this is the page that I get to. Now it is going to show your recent designs and you do have the option to create a design right on this page, but I'm gonna ask you not to do that. Um, it makes it easier for me to see everything you do if you come and you do it under your classes. So you'll click on your classes. You should only be a member of one class. So you'll click that. And then all of our class activities will show up here. Right now, we only have one, um, so that is the one you will click into, <clears throat> and now it'll look like this. You can see I've already created two designs within this project, and so, <clears throat> so you can see them both here. Um, you might see nothing here if it's your first time making a project, but you're going to come up to the top and click create a new design, and then go to 3D design. Once you're in here, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, for starters, if you want to rename your project, you can give it a new name up here just by clicking and typing. Everything auto saves for you. You can come over here to add shapes. There are lots of different options, so make sure to check them out. I'm going to just add two shapes here for us to practice with. So when you have your shapes on the screen, you'll see that there are these little squares here all around, and that is how you're going to resize, very similar to if you've ever changed the size of a picture or clip art. The top square is going to allow you to move it up and down to be taller or shorter. And the little curved arrows um, are able to rotate the shape. Sometimes you have to zoom in a little bit if it's not working to rotate. The last thing I want to show you as far as manipulating shapes is how to stack them. So I like to put one a little bit inside of the other one. And then this black cone allows you to drag up so that one shape is sitting on top of the other. So those are kind of your shape basics. Now the other important thing is uh, manipulating your work plane so you can see things a little differently. The main tool you'll be using is up here on the top left with this cube. <clears throat> you can click and drag to change the angle that you are viewing your design from. Now you can see why this could be very helpful. I was trying to stack these two shapes, but I accidentally left the cone floating above the square, the cube. So I'm going to move that down to be more how I wanted it. <clears throat> now I'm going to turn my shape and I can see that it is hanging off the front when I wanted it to be on top. So I can drag, or I can also use my arrow keys if I wanna do some fine tuning. Turning around, and it's looking good to me. So now that I've done what I wanna do, I can hit this home button here, and it will take me back to that view that I had in the beginning. There are copy, paste, duplicate, and trash options up here as you are working. There are undo and redo buttons for if you make a mistake. And then over here, you can also zoom in and zoom out to see your design a little bit better, whatever is helpful. Okay, those are the basics. Um, I hope you play around and have some fun with it. If you run into trouble, you have any questions, um, let me know for sure and I will be glad to help you. Just send me a quick email, but happy tinkering. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Thanks everyone.